most of the times I don't know ahead of time what I'm going to paint. I just start painting on a canvas and just let it evolve into whatever it wants to be. My name is Minakshi Sinha. I live in Kirkland, Washington. I'm an artist, uh, a new artist. I've been painting for about two, two and a half years now. I run a non-profit project. It's called The Giving Canvas on Facebook, uh, where I auction my art to benefit local non-profits. I think my husband always had that fear that I will come to this area and will not like the weather and will get very depressed and want to go back <laughs> to the Silicon Valley. So to preempt that, he gifted me uh, an acrylic paint set, a canvas and some paints, uh, brushes and so on. And I looked at that and looked at him and I said, you know, <laughs> what makes you think I can paint? I've never painted before in my life. And he said, you know, just give it a try. Maybe you will enjoy this as a hobby. A few months later, when the weather was actually really depressing, I gave it a try and I really enjoyed it. And that's how it actually began. So I give all the credit to my husband and he is not shy of taking credit for it either. After all the walls were filled up, then the question was, what do I do with these extra paintings I have? What if I were to sell them in some way that uh, people would you know, buy them and I could use the proceeds to go to a non-profit? On the Giving Canvas page, uh, there have been more than 70 auctions of paintings. In all, we have been able to raise close to $35,000 for different charities and local nonprofits, uh, sometimes international nonprofits as well. You know, these are the causes that are close to my heart in terms of kids and health and, and family and, and life. But, but I also try to pick charities that anybody would want to support. I was a PhD student uh, and I was doing my PhD in finance. I worked as an economic consultant for almost 10 years. Deep down, I could sense that I was not happy and there was something that, that I needed more than that. I never knew what my passion was. How does one even find one's passion? How, how do you know what is your passion? For me, it was just a, a change of space and a change of place and change of scenery that led me to explore a new hobby. Sometimes, you know, you try something, you make one or two paintings and you just move on to other hobbies. And I kept going, I kept going with this and then I created this project to help me connect you know, two different areas that I, I was interested in. One is art and one is philanthropy and to make a difference in the community. And I once, once I connected the two pieces, I was in a very happy place. I am in a very happy place.